Good afternoon. So um, I want to share an account in scripture real, really quick with you guys. And um, for those of you who have tuned into this video and you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ um, or you feel lost in this world because we know there are a lot of dark things in this world that sometimes can make us feel um, completely lost. Um, hang on to the end and watch this video to the end. I have a, a little quick uh, message for you guys. But I'm going to read an account really quickly and then just give a couple of takes that I took from it when I was reading it. This account has a lot of powerful messages in it and I just touched on one or two. So the account is on in Mark chapter 10 verses 46 through 52 and it says, And they came to Jericho and he was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a great crowd. Bartimaeus, a blind beggar, the son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he cried out all the more, son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped and said, call him. And they called the blind man, saying to him, take heart get up he is calling you and throwing off his cloak he sprang up and came to jesus and and jesus said to him what do you want me to do for you and the blind man said to him rabbi let me recover my sight and jesus said to him go your way your faith has made you well and immediately he recovered his sight and followed him on the way so my thing is why did bartimaeus cry out to jesus and I'm sure he heard of all the miracles that Jesus had performed on him um, throughout the region, that Jesus was performing throughout the region, many miracles. His uh, fame was spreading. Um, but then in verse 48, it says, And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he cried out all the more. So I have a question for you guys, for the followers of Jesus Christ, for those who claim to have a relationship with the Lord. When the day comes, and has already come, because it's here, that they try to silence you from speaking Jesus, will you be quiet? Or will you do what Bartimaeus did? Cry out even louder. The day is here in some countries where they're silencing Christians. And I've been hearing a lot of things about the United States. And if that day comes, what will you do? So we need to know what we will do. I pray that you will cry out even louder, no matter what happens. And for those of you who don't know Jesus, but find yourselves in darkness, as Bartimaeus did, Jesus hears you, and not only does he hear you, but he is calling for you. You might say, but I'm not blind like Bartimaeus was. And to that I say, his, physical, his blindness was physical, but yours is spiritual blindness. So I implore you before it's too late, turn to Jesus, the only one who can open your eyes. It's simple. How do you turn to the Lord? You just admit that you're a sinner because we're all sinners. Even those who come to the Lord, we sin daily. As the word of God says, we sin daily and fall short of the glory of God. And that's why we're to repent daily. So you admit you're a sinner. You ask the Lord to forgive you of your sins. You repent. That means turn away from your sins. You don't return to them anymore. You don't come to the Lord and then continue going back to the same sin. Okay? That's like a dog returning to his vomit. And Jesus, and, and ask Jesus to come into your heart and to be Lord of your life. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that, my friends. And for you, uh, my brothers and sisters out there, will you be silent? Or will you cry out more, even louder? I say in my heart that I will cry out even louder. Uh, I'm known to be very, very vocal, um, but I think I'll cry out even louder. That's what I say, but not in my strength, in his strength, not in my leading, in his leading, not in my own um, intelligence, because it's nothing, but in his wisdom. So I pray that if the day ever comes where we're challenged, we're challenged to deny the Lord, we're challenged to be quiet and not speak about the Lord, that we will be rebellious. Yes, we will be rebellious and not listen to authority, but listen to the only authority that matters, and that is the Word of God. God bless you, my friends.